uh, during this particular Monday, uh, he, he went through on the stage uh, how the halfback should uh, receive the pigskin from the quarterback. And, and, and he had, for example, up on the stage, he had uh, uh, Benji Schrader, who was our center, Ralph Guillaume, who was a quarterback, Neil Ward, Joe Heap, and Dick Washington. He wouldn't use me because I had fumbled, so he used Dick Washington, who was another halfback, a uh, right halfback. And he demonstrated step by step how this ball is supposed to be exchanged and what the halfback is supposed to do. And that took about 45 minutes. And, and after he got done with this demonstration, he dismissed us. And I always said I was, I was known as a triple threat at Notre Dame, trip, stumble, and fall Latner. But that, that Monday, I, I took off faster than some of the linemen. And some of the linemen actually could beat me. And I got to the end of the uh, hall and lay, uh, oh, Mr. Latner, I'd like to have a little chat with you. So I went back and, and he says, oh, John, haven't I told you time and time again? Uh, the halfbacks at Notre Dame, uh, when they grasp the pigskin from the quarterback, and, and as they go through the enemy's line, and when they get to the goal line, uh, the coaching staff and myself expect our halfbacks to have the ball under their arms, not back on the five-yard line. Yeah. And, and he just would demonstrate, and, and he was very sarcastic, he, he, you knew what he meant when, when, when you were supposed to score when you hit the football, but he went on and went on, he says, now, he said, I, I just can't understand your problem, Jan. Uh, all last Saturday after the game, I, I have to prepare myself for the up-and-coming opponent uh, because of your fumbleitis, Jan. I, I could not concentrate. And I was just wondering, uh, uh, do you have any type of girl problems back in Chicago that would cause you to fumble five times? I said, no, of course not. So he says, I understand, Jan, when you were a West Side boy, you used to go to Hawthorne Racetrack with your father. Uh, did you ever bet on the, uh, the horses? I said, well, when my dad would give me some money, yes, I would bet. He said, I'm just wondering, Jan, uh, did you have any money bet with the bookies back on the West Side? I said, no, coach, I don't have money. <laughs> and I didn't have any money. You don't have money in Notre Dame. And I, I don't know. I, I didn't have any anyways. So he says, what he was trying to get at, why I was fumbling. You know, what was my causes? Uh, why, why, why would a halfback of my caliber fumble five times? I don't know. I got hit a lot. But after this little conversation, he said, now, I'd like to have you do a favor. Uh, would you go to one of the chapels here at the University of Notre Dame in, in Our Lady's School? And, and when you get into the chapel, Jan, I'd like to go have you go to confession and confess those five mortal sins you committed last Saturday. That's the honest truth. I didn't make that up. You don't make stories like that. That's great. What other?